Hi, my name is Al Stone. You're listening to this audio program for a reason. You may be looking for a business, any business that you can run from home with low overhead and make money without being married to your job. You may be looking for a lifestyle change. You too want to make money, but you're tired of working for a boss or some large corporation with virtually no security, no control. Or maybe you've had some computer or video experience. Perhaps you're an IT specialist or in the computer or software business and just have a love and affinity for computers. Or maybe you just love gadgets, audio gear, digital cameras, iPhones, iPads, Androids, and so forth. Perhaps you're a photographer or you went to film school. Maybe you're a creative, artistic type of person or maybe you've got a computer or a video camera and have been toying with video editing. You may have wondered how or wished you could make a business out of it. Possibly you've always just wanted to be in the video business. Well, this is the opportunity you've been looking for. The home video studio opportunity is one of the most unique businesses in the world. This is your chance to get into a solid, money-making business that won't eat you alive, that will bring customers to you, that gives you the kind of time freedom you've always wanted and that is more fun than you can imagine. In a moment, you're going to hear from Robert Hanley, the founder of Home Video Studio and the Home Video Studio Network, HVSN. In the summer of 1991, Robert was out of work and flat broke. Less than six months later, he was working in his own video business, making thousands of dollars. In the following years, working from a small upstairs bedroom in his home, Robert built an incredible video services business. In one year alone, he made over $100,000. He will show you how you can start and run your own video services business too. Now in this audio program, we're going to explain, one, what the home video studio opportunity is and how you make money. Two, the unique principles upon which this business is based and the incredible system that Robert Handley developed over the course of many years. Three, the format of the business. Home Video Studio is a business opportunity that you can run from your home and what that means to you. We will also explain, four, how you can qualify to come on board as a Home Video Studio owner and join the HVS family. Furthermore, we'll explain, number five, the equipment that you will need to run your studio. And yes, you may be able to use some of your existing equipment if you have any, and that saves you a lot of money. Six, the areas of the video business you can use to develop your successful business. We call them profit centers, and we have 27 of them. Seven, our comprehensive training and support program and unparalleled sales, marketing, advertising, and tech support for your new business. You'll also learn about our week-long advanced training and the highlight of the year, the Home Video Studio Annual Convention that we call the Getaway. Eight, how you can start and run your own home video studio even if you have no experience at all. And nine, we'll answer some of the most commonly asked questions at the end of this audio program. Finally, after listening to this recording, if you are sincerely interested, your next step is to pick up the phone and give Robert a call. Now, some people want to come to Indianapolis and meet Robert in person and see our studio, just to see if Robert is real, and that's okay. Robert meets with prospective studio owners in what we call show-and-tell Saturdays, usually once a month. Others are ready to talk details on the phone and get started immediately. Now, before I get into some of the details about the business, I think it's important for you to learn a little bit about the man who created this business. I've known Robert Hanley since 1983. I've watched him succeed, and I've watched him fail. Robert's story is important for you to hear because it demonstrates what anyone can do to accomplish their goals if they set their mind to it. Robert's success, like so many other successful people, didn't come easy. It rarely does. So, for a few minutes, listen to his story, and then you'll hear the exciting details about HVS or as Robert puts it, how to turn video into gold. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce to you my friend, 
the founder of Home Video Studio, Robert Hanley. Thanks, Al. Do you feel as though you have no control over your life, your destiny? Have you ever wanted to own your own business? Wanted to be on your own? Are you happy with your present situation? Would you like to control your life, your lifestyle? Are you sick and tired of working for someone else, driving long distances to work every day? Do you find yourself daydreaming about running your own business? Are you worried that your position may be eliminated, that your company may lay off or restructure? Perhaps this has already happened to you. Or do you love what you do, but you've just been doing it for too long? Did you at one time want to be in the film or video business? Would you like to express your creative side? Are you a video hobbyist? Been making videos for your family and friends? Do you love computers and high-tech equipment? Are you ready for a change? Are you ready for a new challenge? Well, if you said yes to any of those, you're not alone. More than likely, you've been considering a change for quite some time, perhaps for years and years. Like many of our studio owners, you may have even dreamed of owning your own business when you were just a kid or in college. We refer to this as the call to action, that voice inside you that keeps telling you and reminding you of a needed quest or change. We'll talk more about your call to action later, but for a moment, think about this. I never go to work, never. I run my own studio out of my home. I control my life and my lifestyle. I'm able to be with my family and kids. I take time off when I want to, and I love what I do. I can teach you how to start your own home video studio and have the same lifestyle. Home video studio owners control their own lives. They own their own businesses. They never go to work, ever. They run their own studios out of their homes. They're able to be with their family and kids and watch them grow. In fact, they have incredibly flexible working hours. And you can have these hours too. Here's how it works. HVSN studio owners start their studios running in the morning when they wake up. They turn on their DVA Deluxes and the day begins. These video machines, so to speak, should be on and running as much as possible. They make money for you while you're doing other things. You may begin your day enjoying a cup of coffee, possibly reading Video Maker Magazine, checking your Facebook, or reading your favorite blog. You officially open up your business around 9.30 in the morning. The phones will start ringing and the customers start coming through the door. Your morning studio hours last until 11.30. From 11.30 to 1.30, you close up shop and take about two hours off. During this time, you can market your business, run an errand, work out, or perhaps take a long, leisurely lunch. You come back at 1.30 and stay open to around 5.30. In the evenings, you're free to spend time with your family, have dinner, and relax. Now, from time to time, you may spend a few minutes or so in the evening servicing your business, but that's only if you feel like it. If you don't, you don't. Many studio owners take at least five weeks of vacation a year and they don't work weekends or nights. And home video studio owners never, ever work on holidays. Now, home video studio appeals to three types of people, or we can even say that it fills three types of needs. Need number one, time freedom. It's a great business for people who want to stay home with their kids or family and run their own business out of their home. It's perfect if you want the kind of lifestyle that gives you the time to attend your child's soccer game or school play. Just as I mentioned earlier, HVSN owners control their lives and their destiny. We work when we want to, and we play when we want to. Remember, I was the first HVS stay-at-home dad. Need number two, financial. Everyone has to make a living. We all want the finer things of life. We want to own our own home, drive nice cars, take vacations, and provide for our family. I've never worked for the other guy. Never worked for the man. Didn't work for corporate America. I dropped out of college at a young age and started my own business. I like paddling my own canoe. It's fun. It's a liberating lifestyle. You might say I took a different path. I can show you this path. 
I can teach you how I was able to have everything I wanted without being chained to a job I didn't like. You too can have more time freedom and love what you do every day. It's not easy. It requires hard work and dedication. But you'll find that when you're doing something you love and working for yourself, it's just not work. Need number three, creative expression. Now, the third type of person that Home Video Studio appeals to, or the third need that we fill, is on the creative side. Maybe you are creative or you want to be. Perhaps you're an amateur video hobbyist or you have experience putting videos together on your computer and making your own photo videos for your family and friends. This may be the perfect business for you. It allows you to be creative and express yourself. Al Stone is a good friend of mine. Over the years, he has produced thousands of audio soundtracks for all sorts of projects. He's an excellent announcer, producer, musician, composer, and recording engineer. But more importantly, he's been operating his own successful home audio studio for years. So in addition to his announcing talent and recording skills, Al has unique insight into running a production business from home. So I've asked him to share the duties of explaining our HVS system to you. Here's Al. Thanks, Robert. Achieving success in business is not easy, but it is possible, especially when you have a model to follow, someone to emulate, someone who has figured out all the do's and don'ts of the business you want to get into. For the past 40 years or so, I've been an announcer, voice talent as we call it in the business, and I've worked for many, many different customers, including radio and TV stations, ad agencies, audio and video production companies, government units, and private businesses. I've expanded my production business to include long-form radio and TV programs and voiceover services for clients all over the United States. Over the years, I've had the pleasure of watching Robert Hanley build his video business from scratch. I've seen his remarkable skill and attention to detail as he started literally with nothing in 1991. And then he built a unique home business that provides his family and him with a very comfortable lifestyle. He sold his first home video studio in 1999. And as of this recording, HVS has studios operating throughout the United States, in Canada, and even one studio in Stockholm, Sweden. I have witnessed the tremendous growth of what Robert Hanley started in an upstairs bedroom of his home to what now has become what many might say is the perfect business. If you're looking for a model, that special person to follow as you build your dream business, I can't think of a better person than Robert Hanley. On this audio program, Robert will share his journey with you, and it's a fascinating story. He'll tell you how he got started, what things he did right, and what things he did wrong. He'll explain exactly how you can avoid failure by following his proven plan for success. As my father always told me, don't make the same mistakes I've made, listen and learn. Well, my dad was right, and that's why I'm asking you to do the same thing, listen and learn. Success in this business is more than just a possibility, it's much more than that. With Robert Hanley and the HVS team guiding you, you'll have a wonderful model to follow. Now, on this audio program, we're going to cover what we call the nine concepts or C's of the home video studio business. Here they are. Call to action. Content. Customers. Chance. Control. Cash. Concentration. Creativity. And number nine, commitment. We've started this program with your call to action. Let's talk about content right now. It's the second and one of the most important C's. Here's Robert. Home video studio owners are modifiers, changers, and creators of content. What is content? Well, content is simply everywhere. Old videotapes, VHS, beta, eight millimeter, mini DV, eight millimeter and 16 millimeter film, 35 millimeter slides, photos, computer video files, and here is the best part. We are all walking around 24 seven with the cameras on our smartphones. We are constantly taking pictures and video and adding to our massive library of content. I will teach you how to capitalize on all of this content. It's the lifeblood of our business. 
We live in a content-rich era. Home video studio owners make money by creating content, changing content, modifying content, and uploading and preserving content. That is very important, Robert. Let me repeat our second concept, or C, content. Home video studio owners are modifiers, changers, and creators of content. Now, later in this audio program, we'll tell you about Digital Video Archive, DVA for short. It's our newest profit center, and it's all about content and profits. It's a good idea here to mention that the third C is customers. It's the basic core value behind Home Video Studio. Here's what we do at HVS. We supply unique video services to consumers, companies, schools, organizations, churches, and so forth. Who is our customer? Anyone and everyone. That's the amazing power behind the business. Our customers are anyone and everyone. Now, that is so important that I'm going to repeat it. Our business supplies unique video services to consumers, companies, schools, organizations, churches, etc. Who is our customer? Anyone and everyone. As an HVS owner, you can work for Joe, who works at the Coca-Cola bottling plant, for Joe's wife and kids, where his kids go to school, where Joe and Jane go to church. You can work for every church and every school in the area. You can work for everybody that Joe and his wife know, everyone that those people know, and everyone else. The list is endless. You can work for the biggest company in town, or you can work for just one person. So who are our customers? Anyone and everyone. Now, you don't have to be a genius to run this business. You don't have to be a video nut or an equipment junkie. We do require you to pre-qualify to become an HVS owner, but don't worry, it's basically a three-step process. The good news is, you can start pre-qualifying right now. Who can achieve success in this field? HVS is a business that virtually anyone can run with the proper training. First, see if you can answer yes to these three questions. Number one, are you motivated and serious? In other words, are you ready to get started right now in your own business? There's an old saying, most businesses fail because they never get started. The sad truth is, if you don't start now, you probably never will. And that's okay with us. Running a business is not for everyone. It does take dedication to become part of the home video studio family of studio owners. If you're not ready to make a commitment now, if you're not serious, you're just wasting your time and our time. I get calls all the time from people who say they have listened to this recorded and they are excited, but, and it's always the but that stops them. They continue to say something like this, I want to get started, but I can't do this or that right now, maybe in a few uh, months. Or, I want to get started, but I need to, well, you know, I don't know. And you fill in the blank because for those folks, there's always a but. Something that must happen before they can take action. You know, my mom always said, if it's and buts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. So if you're not serious, it's best that we both find out now. Question two, and probably the most important question, are you teachable? What we mean here is, are you willing to learn our business system and run your new business as we do? A video studio run correctly generates a lot of cash, but the key words are run correctly. So you must be teachable. And finally, question three, do you have the money or are you able to raise the necessary funds to get started? If you are serious and want to be part of our HVSN family, it's going to take some cash. If you need financing, we'll try to help you in that area. We are pretty experienced in finding funding for new studios. Okay, can you honestly answer yes to the previous three questions? If so, then let's go on and listen to Al and the rest of the HVS story. By now, one of two things has probably happened to folks listening to this recording. They've either pressed the stop button and are going on with their lives, or they're getting very excited about starting their own video business. You must be in that second group because you're still listening. Now let's talk about training and support for a moment. 
Training begins with five days of classes in Indianapolis featuring intensive hands-on workshops in our studio training center. We also cover in depth the profit centers, sales and marketing, advertising, and as we say, the facts, information and knowledge about home video studio. This training is really thorough, so plan to come rested and be ready to listen and work hard. On the marketing and business side, we show you how to get customers, how to sell jobs, how to handle customer phone calls, how to give customer service, essentially the business of the business. And on the technical side, how to run the equipment, how to edit video, make DVDs and DVAs, produce photo video keepsakes, how to put your final creation on a DVD or compress and upload it to the web. Everything, every detail. And of course, we'll tell you how to collect your money in this all cash business. Now here's Robert to talk about the business principles he's based HVS on. I started out in business over 48 years ago when I was 10 years old. My dad bought a snow cone and popcorn trailer for my brothers and mom to run at the county fair. I helped out and I enjoyed making popcorn and snow cones and especially eating the leftovers. I asked Dad if I could run the stand myself at the city park for the entire summer. Dad said yes, and I had my first business. Even at that young age, I learned quite a bit about running a business. I learned the basic principles that I still use today. Even giant corporations follow them. Advertising, marketing, customer service, making value-added products, buying low and selling high, and the virtues of running a cash business. No financing, no receivables. Also, I learned the nuts and bolts of business, the important day-to-day -day activities that make the difference between success and failure. Things like buying supplies and services at a fair price, making quality products, selling techniques, dealing with customers, keeping accurate records, and so forth. The simple fundamentals that all successful businesses are built on some people call this the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. Sometimes the simplest things just work the best. You'll be glad to know that I have incorporated all of these principles and techniques into the home video studio business. You know, I often find it ironic that while I learned these principles early in life, it took me some 25 years to capitalize on them. Every successful business person I've met over the years has a story to tell. Most of them didn't have success handed to them. They worked for it. Robert's that kind of person. And as he developed the HVS system, he knows that people like you are not afraid of work. But it's sure nice to have someone who's been there guiding you along the way. When I was 14, I got my next job frying hamburgers at the Tasty Freeze for 35 cents an hour. That was hard work, especially working every Friday and Saturday night. But it taught me two lessons. One. Working hard was essential if I was to succeed. And two, I didn't want to work for someone else when I grew up. I had a few other jobs along the way to owning my own business, working at the local grocery store, the Covington IGA, and believe it or not, for a while, <laughs> I was a security guard at a General Motors foundry. In the mid-1970s, I was going to college and working at that same grocery store when a remarkable event happened that would influence me for the rest of my life. George Lucas made a little sci-fi movie, Star Wars. It was the highest grossing film at that time. Now, I was mesmerized by that movie, and it did change the direction of my life. In fact, it was one of my major calls to action. I decided to go to film school and become a movie director. I attended Southern Illinois University's film school and then transferred to a college in Hollywood, California. I actually packed up and moved everything from my small town in Indiana to Hollywood. Hollywood really wasn't for me, though. I spent three days there trying to find an apartment and get settled. A very, very strange thing happened to me on the evening of the third day. That night, in an instant, in a twinkling of an eye, my life changed forever. I'll tell you the rest of the story when we meet, but for now, let's just say that we are all connected. It's not by chance or fate that you are listening to this recording. Everything is connected. Everything. 
I left Hollywood the next morning, and I never looked back. I soon found myself back home again in Indiana. I still ended up becoming a producer-director-editor. I just took a different route. You know, you can take the Hoosier out of Hollywood, but you can't take the Hollywood out of the Hoosier. You know what it's like trying to follow a dream. What about your dreams? What about your call to action? Chances are you have had the desire to start your own business for quite some time. You should never, ever lose sight of that. Maybe you've been successful already in your career, but you're not satisfied. Maybe you enjoy what you're doing, but you've been doing it for too long. Maybe your kids are grown and you're ready to make a change. Maybe you're just bored and want to exercise those creative juices flowing inside you. Maybe you're displaced from the workplace and seek to control your own destiny by starting a business. HVS offers you the opportunity to take control of your life and use your energies in a positive, creative, and financially rewarding way. Well, back in Indiana, Robert found himself stuck in a business that was running him. At the age of 22, he bought the fast food restaurant he had worked in as a youngster and discovered the reality of working 14 to 16 hour days, seven days a week. Robert's restaurant business was literally running him. I was 22 years old. My friends were either out of college, starting their careers, or going for higher education. Unwittingly, I had enrolled myself in the School of Hard Knocks. One day I was on my way to becoming a Hollywood screenwriter and director, and the next day I was serving up ice cream cones for screaming kids. Reality check, big time. Many businesses are like my restaurant, just trading hours for dollars. You have to be in the business doing something all the time for the business to make money. Home Video Studio is different from that. You don't have to be in the business all the time for it to make money, plus you have so many things you can do at the same time that will bring in money. Instead of making $15 or $20 or even $100 an hour, you can make thousands of dollars an hour on the right project because with HVS, we make value-added products. I took pride in running my drive-in restaurant, though. Once again, I learned some important lessons. I didn't mind the hard work, but I hated the long, tedious days, 14 hours to 16-hour days, seven days a week. I would go weeks without a day off. I also learned how hard it was to find good employees, people I could count on. I have incorporated these lessons into the HVS system, and you'll be glad to know that you don't need any employees in your home video studio business. Best of all, remember your suggested hours for operating your home video studio business are very flexible, family flexible. Are you like Robert was then? Stuck in a dead-end job or a business that's running you instead of you running the business? Are you working in a business that you don't like or for a boss you just can't stand? Robert's been there. He was in the restaurant business and was very successful. But it wasn't the lifestyle he wanted. Twelve-hour days, working weekends, nights, married to the job. On the plus side, all of my customers paid cash. The restaurant was an all-cash business. I'm certain I didn't appreciate this aspect of the restaurant business back then, but I do now. You'll be glad to know that HVS is, for the most part, an all-cash business. In fact, most of our customers pay us for the entire job up front, weeks before any work is done. Like our model says, Home Video Studio turns video into gold. Okay, it's time to put pencil to paper. Here are, once again, the main business principles of Home Video Studio, the nine C's of the home studio business. Here they are. Call to action, content, customers, chance, control, cash, concentration, creativity, and commitment. Let's explore chance. It's our fourth C. You have to take a chance. Nothing will ever get accomplished if you don't take that first step. At some point, you have to stop doodling on paper and quit daydreaming about your future. Just take that first step and make it happen. 
If you waited until you knew everything or had all the answers, well, you would just simply never get anywhere. There is risk in everything. If our forefathers hadn't taken risks, you probably wouldn't be listening to this recording today. We would all be drinking tea instead of coffee and playing cricket instead of baseball. So if you're going to reap the rewards, you're going to have to take a chance. There's an old saying, it goes something like this. If you are not willing to risk what you have now, then you had better be happy with what you've got, because that's all you'll ever have. There is risk in everything. Home Video Studio is a cash and carry business. Just like Robert's restaurant business and even his snow cone business, the majority of your customers will pay you cash as you complete their service. In fact, we will show you how to collect your entire fee up front before you do any work. Now imagine waking up one morning, showering, making coffee, getting ready for the day. At 9.30, you promptly go to your front door, turn your open-close sign to open, and begin work. Ten minutes later, there's a knock on the door. You answer, take the customer's order, and right there, your customer hands you a check for $500, the entire amount of their order. You thank the customer, and later in the day, you deposit the check into your bank account. The customer won't pick up his completed order for two or four weeks, but you've received your complete payment in advance, no hassle. It's happened to Robert and other home video studio owners thousands and thousands of times. Okay, are you wondering how I made the jump from being stuck in the kitchen at my drive-in to where I am today? Back then, my wife Denise and I were living in a mobile home. I was sweating behind the grill at the drive-in and just dreaming of making movies. Today, we live and work in a beautiful 6,000-square-foot home, our dream home. It has been an incredible journey, and I'm happy to share it with you. It started with just one word, chance. I took a chance and started my own film and video production company. I sold the restaurant, and Denise and I moved to Indianapolis, Indiana. I started my film business in 1982, and in one sense, I did quite well. We produced a lot of great projects. There's not much that I haven't done in the film and video business. I've directed big-budget corporate videos. I've shot 16mm and 35mm film, 3-quarter inch, 1 inch, beta cam, M2, VHS, SVHS, mini DV, DV cam, <laughs> you name it. I did it all. I taught myself the entire business. But I also made every mistake in the book. You might say that I finished my doctorate in the School of Hard Knocks. I learned all the wrong ways to run a video business. At one time, I had five employees and a monthly overhead of $14,000. Robert did excellent work. I know he did, because I often did the voiceover narration and the music for his films. He shot film and video on both coasts, did regional and national TV spots, training videos, and corporate image films. His client list included local and national accounts, like the Three Generals, General Foods, General Electric, and General Motors, and Union Carbide, Brylane, which is the Limited, Airstream, and Jayco RVs. In the process of doing these projects, Robert learned all the facets of the film and video production business, but it was a very expensive education. That's right, Al. I think this is a good place to mention that HVS is not a video production company, but rather it's a video services post-production company that does video production. Can you help explain the differences to our listeners? Because this point is so important. The difference between being a video production company and being a video services post-production company is significant. As an HVS owner, you may choose to do some production work if you follow the HVS system, and I certainly recommend that you do so, you'll be doing only the kind of production that makes you a lot of money without trading hours for dollars. We don't recommend, for example, that you tie up your time shooting legal video depositions. That is just trading hours for dollars, and it is not one of the services that we suggest you offer. We're also not going to suggest that you start your new business by looking to do big videos for big companies. This is what most people do when they start a video business. They want to be that big producer. Well, that is a sure way to go broke. 
we turn it around at HVS. We'll teach you how to build a solid foundation of business based on smaller projects. And from that foundation, you will build a nice, healthy business. You're in the video business, but you're offering the kind of services that allow you to make far more money day in, day out, year after year, than you would make running around trying to be a big-time producer. Believe me, I've watched dozens of people go broke doing that, and a long time ago, Robert was one of those people. That's precisely why he started Home Video Studio. By 1991, after completing my life's goal, writing, shooting, editing, and producing a feature film, I was flat broke, a starving artist. I actually had failed twice, once with my first production company and again with my movie, Good Cop, Bad Cop. I got the film done, and it was actually quite good. And then I delivered it to my distributor and never heard from them again. In both situations, I had lost control and was at the mercy of a few big clients. You've got to have a business that you can keep simple and that you can control. Home Video Studio is based on this principle. You have control over your clients. You have many of them, not a few, so you control the client-vendor relationship. You control your time, your rates, and most importantly, your lifestyle. Losing or dismissing one client won't sink you. If you don't like working with someone, don't work with them again. If you lose a client, it's no big deal. Think about how this approach will decrease the stress in your life. When you assume control in your business, you don't have to deal with the nickel dimers who drive you crazy. You don't have to play the corporate game, whining and dining clients because you're afraid you'll lose their business if you don't. Control with a capital C is the fifth of the nine C's in the HVS system. In everything you do, from answering the phone, to taking an order from a customer, to delivering the product, to paying your bills, you must maintain control over your work and life. This is the beauty of the home video studio business. Robert paid his dues. He learned the hard way. He spent 23 years developing the principles of this business, and he won't allow you to make the same mistakes he made many, many years ago. Now, here are 10 primary principles upon which Robert has built the HVS system. They're simple, perhaps obvious to some of you, but they're worth repeating quickly here. And we'll have more to say on each one later in this recording. Number one, to get up and running quickly, you should get into a turnkey business. That's exactly what we offer, a complete business package. Nothing is left out. When you hear all about the equipment, training, sales and marketing materials, supplies, software, everything, you'll understand how complete this business package really is. Talk about a game plan. Number two, make sure you have the proper knowledge of the business. You'll get the precise classroom and hands-on training you need for each profit center and for each piece of equipment in your studio over three full weeks of training. And you'll also get marketing and sales training, as well as business management instruction. Furthermore, you can retake any of these training sessions if you want to. We'll even teach your spouse or partner. Number three, keep your overhead low. Again, HVS is designed as a business you can run from home or from a storefront, and you don't need a bunch of employees. It's really a one-person business. Many couples, however, choose to work together in their HVS business, either from home or from a storefront. And that's great, too. Obviously, it depends on your lifestyle choices. If you do have a storefront location, you may decide to hire a part-time employee. Again, it's always your choice. Number four, follow tried and true accounting and business practices. Again, you may already know this area, but for those who don't, and for those practices unique to our video business, we provide the training you need on such things as keeping proper records, charging enough for your services, and getting paid for your work up front. We also have QuickBooks online accounting templates already customized for your new business, complete with item descriptions and price guidelines. Number five, an incredibly important area of this business, in fact any business, is sales and marketing. 
You can't just set up a business and expect people to come rushing in. You have to be proactive. You need to be able to market yourself and market your business. At HVS, you don't have to do cold calling. I don't know if you like to do that or not, but here that's not necessary. However, we do have a lot of great and effective ways to market this business. We call them lures, things that lure our customers to approach us and ask us about our business. After all, the video production business has a lot of sizzle to it. It has the allure of the movies, film, TV, computers, and that age-old star quality. You'll find that people just naturally want to talk to you when they find out that you are a video producer, director, and editor. We teach you how to market your business and how to attract tons of customers. When you become a video studio owner, you will have at your disposal complete guidance and training in the areas of marketing and advertising. We leave nothing to chance. When you talk to Robert on the phone, he will explain in more detail all of the proven advertising and marketing methods and materials you'll be able to use to promote your new business. But briefly, here are some of the highlights. You'll receive our press kit for producing Facebook and other online social media ads and posts and detailed plans for developing your extremely important networking opportunities. Robert and his staff have spent more than 20 years developing and refining each advertisement, each program, and each step in the process in order to help ensure the success of each studio owner. Furthermore, through our online store and art department, you'll have access to advertising and marketing materials to help you build your new business. Advertising flyers, brochures, banners, point of purchase, advertisements, postcards, posters, and so forth. Also, you'll receive detailed instructions on how to use every piece of advertising and marketing material in promoting your business, including, but not limited to, how to work internet sales leads, how to respond to customers on the telephone, and how to develop new sales leads in person. Our advertising and marketing program is the most thorough, effective, and detailed plan of its kind anywhere for the video production and post-production business. Number six, any business you get into should not only be financially rewarding, and this one is, but also it should be personally rewarding and fun. HVS is precisely that. It's interesting. It's different every day. It's exciting because you're involved in virtually all aspects of the production business. You may be shooting video, editing, adding soundtracks, capturing photos and other memorabilia, authoring a DVD, but most importantly, you'll be providing a service to your customers that often moves them to tears of joy. The people who come to your home video studio are usually happy and excited about your services, and they're glad they found you. 7. There's one main reason anyone goes into business, and that's to make a profit. A healthy profit. Oh, some mom-and-pop stores are content to generate a good living, but HVS is different when it comes to profit. Robert has developed this business for years with the goal of making a substantial profit from each area of the business with as small a time commitment as possible. It is certainly realistic to project a healthy income with your home video studio. And the best part is, the gross sales to net profit ratio is very high. As Robert says, home video studio turns video into gold. Let me take a moment to say here at HVS, we are big on personal responsibility. Though we are here to help you from the very first day, ultimately you are responsible for your success. We will work as hard as you do to help you, but in the final analysis, it's up to you. And that's true no matter what business you choose. To be successful, you must be dedicated and willing to work hard. That's the type of person we are searching for to join the Home Video Studio family. We invite you to ask us about our successful owners around the country. How well you do, how successful you become, will ultimately depend on how well you execute the HVS program. We will work as hard as you do to help you make your new studio a success. Number eight, the best business to be in these days is a cash business. As we said earlier, this is definitely a cash business. For that matter, it's actually 
a cash up front business that reduces or eliminates those old receivables that all of us in business dread. Number nine, although all businesses are in a sense dependent upon their customers, with HVS, you remain in control. You're not dependent on one or two large customers to crack the nut every month. Rather, you control the amount of work and the amount of money you make by accepting or declining projects as we teach you. Control is so vitally important, it is one of the nine C's. Number 10, support. We wanted to introduce this principle near the end of this section because it is so vitally important to your success and we're going to spend a little more time on it. When you get into a new business, it's very important to have the people and an organization to turn to for support and consultation. Over the years, we have developed this critical area with this goal in mind. In order for everyone to succeed, they must have a solid, consistent lifeline to headquarters. When you become an HVS owner, you will have the kind of support other businesses only dream about. First on our list are Monday and Friday conference calls. The Monday call occurs at 12 noon Eastern and is our national sales meeting. We focus exclusively on sales and marketing, the two areas that drive your business. No tech talk, no discussions about social events, just solid sales and marketing information. Practical, down-to-earth, useful information to help you continue to build your business each and every week. On Fridays, Robert does a wrap-up call that is either informational, such as about a new profit center, or a refresher, such as working on phone techniques or reviewing an established profit center. The Friday call is always motivational, and it includes audience participation, what I like to call comments for the good of the order. HVS After Dark is a bi-monthly, laid-back webinar training held in the evening around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This training helps bring owners up to speed on our latest marketing tools, sales and advertising methods, and even live workshops on video editing and such. These two calls and the HVS webinars provide an additional 50 hours of training. Plus, the Monday and Friday conference calls are recorded and available for easy download. The Daily Dashboard is our marketing, advertising, and communication support website. Owners usually make this a favorite or a starting page on their browser. The Daily Dashboard is a repository of information about how to run, market, and advertise your HVS studio. It has tons of information, website tools, the HVS database, a complete library of our audio programs, information on upcoming events and training, and files to download, and so forth. And it is the home of Otis, which is our online customer and job tracking system. As you can imagine, our technical and studio support department is unmatched in the business. We have full-time associates whose primary responsibility is to help you with your new business. If you have a problem with your computer for editing, we're there for you. If you have questions on marketing, we're there for you. And if you just want to talk to someone, we're there for that too. We understand that starting this business and succeeding is the most important thing in your life, after family, of course, and we are there for you. With Home Video Studio, you are in business for yourself, but not by yourself. The Home Video Studio Network Advisory Council is another highly important support area. The council consists of seven studio owners who meet together on a regular basis. They field questions and comments from owners from all over the country, and they design strategies for training workshops, conventions, and owner-oriented events so that we are constantly improving our already successful system. The Advisory Council also heads up our HVS mentoring program. Each new owner is assigned to a veteran studio owner for help and camaraderie. One of the great benefits of Home Video Studio is the relationship you'll have with other studios in our network. There's a wonderful kinship and warmth that flows through what we call the HVS family. You'll build strong relationships and lifelong friends with other members of the HVS family. Over the years, HVS has developed a truly unique and effective advertising and marketing department. 
Our people are seasoned pros who understand your needs and have the ability to produce the kinds of materials that keep us way ahead of the pack. Our graphic designers are first rate and our writers are second to none. If you need help in advertising and marketing, they're just a phone call or an email away. We have our own in-house webmaster and he is truly a web design genius. He builds all of our websites from the ground up, so there is consistency among all of them. And of course, your own website that our webmaster will build specifically for you. With HVS, we make sure you have a wide variety of support options from which to choose. You have complete online and telephone support to help you launch your business, and we'll do everything possible to make sure you know how to set up, operate, and make money with your new home video studio from day one. We are committed to supporting your efforts. Now, in addition to the outstanding support you will receive as an owner, you'll also learn about six key components to our success. They are an important part of the reason that HVS studios dominate markets all over the country. Here's Al again to help explain them. All over the country, in fact, all over the world, people have a tremendous need for the services that your new studio will provide. Who are these people? These potential customers? The answer is anyone and everyone. That's right. Everyone uses our services. Everyone from the smallest consumer wanting a tape transferred to DVD or the cloud to the largest company in town that needs help in making a video for a trade show. You know, Al, I would never have believed that there was a market for this business if I had not discovered it for myself. You see, the big money is not in making big videos for large companies, although we do that. It is in providing quality video production and post-production services to individuals, organizations, and companies. Again, who is our customer? Anyone and everyone. It's a concept that is so simple, I would never ever have believed it if it had not happened to me. It's so important that I want you to stop this recording right now and write down the following. My new video business provides video services to individuals, companies, organizations, schools, and churches. Have you written that statement down? If you haven't, do it right now. Now, write down the first key component of HVS. Our customers are anyone and everyone. I should give thanks to Federal Express for our next key component. We live in what I call a FedEx society. People want things quick. They want what they want now, right now, not tomorrow, not next week, but today. Instant gratification, you bet. And our home video studio owners love this because it makes them so much more money. The most familiar words we hear day after day from most of our customers are, do you do such and such and can you do it today? You can because you have a video production studio right in your home. And because all of our equipment is automated, it is very easy for you to run copies, edit video, or upload DVAs in the evening or at night while you are sleeping. Yes, you can literally be making money while you are sleeping. If you have any doubts about the growing impatience in American society, just look at the person in line behind you at the bank or the post office or McDonald's. You can feel their impatience. They want to be served right now. They don't want to wait. And that's the key to success in our business. You can do the work quickly and your customers are glad to pay more for quicker services. So the second key component of HVS is People want goods and services quick and will pay us more for them. The third key component of HVS is what I call emotional motivation. Our customers want many of our products and services because of emotion. They are motivated not by their minds, but by their hearts. Consider these, for example, videos for graduations, weddings, anniversaries, and birthdays. Videos for special events for both individuals and businesses, like award ceremonies, retirement celebrations, and so forth. Emotion, not logic, plays a huge role in our customers' decisions to come to us. Now, how many times have you gone to a store to purchase a gift for a loved one and have ended up spending more than you intended? We all want to spend money for the people we love, and HVS customers are no different. Now, when you combine the emotional component with the 
I'm in a hurry and I want this immediately component, it's literally money in your pocket. Now the fourth key component of HVS is based on obsolescence. Detroit learned this early in the last century and it applies to virtually everything that is manufactured in a capitalistic society, especially high-tech toys like video cameras, smartphones, tablets, and computers. Every manufacturing company is trying to outdo the others and come up with the next innovation that will sell in the billions and billions. You know, I get this uh, question sometimes in the video business. In fact, sometimes a prospective studio owner will raise this question. Is blank, uh, you fill in the blank, going to be outdated in a couple of years? Well, the answer is yes, and that's a good thing for you. Our fourth key component is simply this. The more technology changes, the more ways and methods of making money we have. It just builds and builds. Remember the old 8mm and 16mm film? Those old films comprise one of our most lucrative and easy profit centers. But more than that, 8mm and 16mm film are a great example of what I like to call the HVS food chain. Here's just one example of how it works. First in the food chain, we have the old 8mm and 16mm movies. These were replaced by beta tapes, remember those? Beta was, of course, replaced by VHS. Then came SVHS, VHSC, 8mm, high 8mm, digital 8, DV, mini DV, even micro DV, and then, of course, DVD. And then, after that, we have HDV, HD, Blu-ray, QuickTime, AVI, Windows Media Files, etc. There are just so many formats. Now, there are other formats out there as well, and the good news is, is that we make money transferring all of them. Every time a format changes, or Sony or Panasonic, Philips, JVC, Apple, or Microsoft comes out with a new camera or format, HVS Studios make more money. So again, component number four is the more technology changes, the more money and ways of making money HVS has. You've already heard us mention the latest and next technology in the video food chain, Digital Video Archive, DVA for short. It's our newest profit center, and we're going to talk about it later in this program. But here is a short definition. A DVA, Digital Video Archive, is a specially designed and engineered MPEG-4 file format containing unique customizable metadata, title information, chapter markers, thumbnail images, and more, which enables playback on a DVA player, a computer, smartphone, tablet, and smart TV, with internet access. DVAs are easily viewed, modified, edited, shared, and archivally stored in the cloud at digitalvideoarchive.com. You can access DVAs with your iPhone, smartphone, or tablet, as well as with your PC or Mac. You can share a DVA with one person, several family members, or your entire circle of friends and family. Basically, think of a DVA as a DVD that's online, in your phone, your tablet, or on your smart TV. Now here's Robert with the rest of the six principles. Now I refer to the fifth key component as people get stuck, and here's why. When it comes to computers, DVRs, video cameras, tablets, and smartphones, callers inquiring about joining our HVS business invariably ask if we are concerned about video cameras being so cheap, or the fact that anyone and everyone can take video with their phones, or that many computers and even tablets are being bundled with video editing programs. Yes, video cameras and computers are cheap and remarkably good. And yes, you can edit video on almost any computer now. And yes, almost everyone is walking around 24-7 with a smartphone video camera. So let's start with that last statement. Almost everyone is walking around 24-7 with a smartphone video camera. Take a moment and think about that. In fact, stop this recording and write it down. Everyone is walking around 24-7 with a smartphone video camera. Now, here's what that means to us, and I hope to you too. There is always going to be work for us to do, always. Everyone is creating content, and they are doing it every day. That content has to go somewhere. Here's what happens most of the time after people, and by people I mean individuals, families, companies, organizations, churches, etc., 
they just get stuck at some point after they shoot. Let me repeat that. Most people shoot their videos and they get stuck. Heck, they usually can't even figure out how to get their videos off the phones and into the computers to edit. But that's a good thing. That's where you and your studio come in. You, of course, have the best equipment to solve their problems and do the job right. But also, you have the training. You are an expert in your own home video studio. We get calls every day from someone in this situation or someone who has tried to copy a DVD or has tried to produce a video but has failed somewhere in the process. Again, that's where you, as an HVS studio owner, come in. You have both the equipment and the expertise to do the work that your customer may have tried to do but can't. So our fifth key component is people get stuck. Our sixth and final key component and perhaps our most important one, is based on this concept. We are small and unobtrusive. We fly under the radar. Does that sound like gibberish? Well, well, it isn't. Our products and prices are low, not cheap, but low, so our customers' buying decisions are quick. That is really important. Because our rates are relatively low, our customers can and do make quick buying decisions. You are not trying to sell them a car or a boat or a house that costs tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars. Your average invoice is about $650, and that's easy to sell. You don't have to take people out to lunch or wine and dine them. You don't have to do elaborate presentations. You don't have to spend time or money preparing and then wait days or weeks for a decision as they do in the corporate world. Our average customer's decision time is about 30 seconds. Most of the time, it's only a few minutes. That's because the cost of our services versus the perceived value of our services fits into most customers' budgets. Furthermore, given our FedEx mentality, many customers make decisions based on how fast they need the work done, not on the price alone. Most customers decide right on the phone about doing business with you. A great deal of the time, they will pay you with a credit card during that same call. It's amazing, but true. And that's the sixth component of the home video studio business. Our services and prices generate a quick buying decision. Robert, allow me to summarize HVS's six key principles. First, HVS customers are everyone and anyone. Second, people want goods and services quick and will pay more for them. Third is emotional motivation. Fourth, the more technology changes, the more money and ways of making money HVS has. Fifth, people get stuck. And sixth, HVS's services and prices generate a quick buying decision. Now let me add a seventh principle. Even in hard financial times, your customers will still come to you with work. And why? Because the services you provide, such as transferring old movies or doing photo videos on DVD, are emotionally charged. Our business is recession-proof. People will spend money to preserve these memories for their families and friends, no matter what's going on in the national or world economy. Also, because we have 27 profit centers, we always have some services that people need and want. Now, these aren't earth-shattering principles, but precisely because they aren't is why they work so well for HVS owners. They are fundamental. They are consistent across the board. They work all over the country, and they are easy to remember and maintain. However, Robert didn't always understand nor follow these principles. He discovered and developed them over many, many years of hard work. I know that for a fact. I was there years ago when he began. Well, they say that when God closes a door, he opens a window. My window was opened on June 14, 1991. That month, I had enrolled in a sales and marketing class. At home, I was beginning to hear an all-too-familiar phrase from my wife, either get a job or make this video business work. We need money. So one night during class, I was lamenting to another classmate about my financial situation. I was broke and very, very down. My classmate asked me a few pointed questions and quickly zeroed in on the reason why I was penniless. She said, your goals are goals of achievement. Make a movie, learn the film and video business. And then she said the magic words that changed my life. 
you will not make money until you make making money your goal. I didn't really understand the power of that statement. It was so simple. I had never even considered it. Now let me repeat that statement because it's very important for everyone to understand. Robert's classmate said, you will not make money until you make making money your goal. Now somewhere along the way, many Americans have lost sight of the goal of business, that is, to make money, to make a profit. Making money is also one of the main questions prospective studio owners ask. How soon will I make money? Well, one of the first things Robert and the HVS staff will do is put together a game plan for your new business. They will sit down with you from day one and help you set financial goals for your new business. They'll explain how you can actually start making money even before you have your studio up and running. With HVS, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. So let me repeat the statement that Robert's classmate made many, many years ago. You will not make money until you make making money your goal. Make making money your goal and watch what happens. When my classmate said those simple but magical words, my life literally changed in an instant. That's why I remember the date so clearly, as if it were yesterday. I tore the calendar page out that day and I still have it on my desk. I got home that night and I was just so excited. I didn't want to go to sleep, so I woke Denise up to tell her about the conversation. Now, Denise had been working making money as an RN, a registered nurse, for years. And in fact, at this time, she was working full-time. And remember, I was not. So you can imagine she was not too excited to be awakened when she had to get up so early in the morning. The next day, I got up early and went to a local coffee shop. I decided to make a mind map, a technique I had learned in class. I wrote down everything I could think of. Problems in business, problems with my family, personal disappointments, ideas for making money, goals, wishes and dreams, strengths and weaknesses. Everything, everything I could think of. Before I knew it, I had come up with a short list of goals and I wrote down my major goal. Let me read it to you right now. I wrote down, my goal is to become financially independent for myself and my family. I also wrote down the word focus. We would focus only on activities that would bring us money, profit. I wasn't sure what I would be doing that summer, but I knew I would be focusing on making money. So from that day forward, June 14th, 1991, I began to focus solely on making money. And you know what? I really didn't care what it was. I tried a number of things that summer, it just so happens that we were able to find a way to reinvent my passion for video. We decided that Denise would continue to work at the hospital and she would lend backup support to me when I needed it. That was our game plan. I knew that Denise was giving me one more chance to get it right. I had her support and that was crucial. Having the support of your spouse or partner is very important to your success. If they're not listening to this program with you now, have them listen to it as soon as possible. Even if your spouse or partner is not going to be working with you in the business, bring them with you when you come to Indy, if possible. After all, getting into this business should be a family decision. Well, I had Denise's support, and what's that old expression? The third time's the charm. Good fortune was soon to come our way. That brings us to the sixth C, concentration. In other words, focus. You must concentrate on your business one step at a time. You can't do three or four other businesses or activities while trying to build this one. Let me go a little further with this idea of concentration. Did you ever misplace something, your car key, sunglasses, for example, and simply have no clue to where they might be? A couple of hours or even days later, bang, it comes to you and you walk right to the lost item. That is your subconscious mind at work. You concentrated on trying to picture where the lost item was, but your conscious mind was so cluttered with other information, you couldn't see it. However, when you finally allowed your subconscious mind to kick the image of the lost item to the surface, to your conscious mind, wham, there it was. Focusing and concentrating on your new home video studio 
will yield the same results. No, you won't find those lost keys, but you will find incredible insight and fulfillment. Remember when we talked about synchronicity? Things happen for a reason. And when you're in the business working, you have much more energy and your consciousness is at a whole new level. You'll get ideas all the time because you will always be focused on your business and how to make money. You may be out fishing with your brother-in-law and an idea for your business strikes you out of the blue. Maybe it was the action of hooking a fish that caused the idea to surface. Who knows? But because your subconscious mind is focused on the business of making money, the ideas will keep bubbling up until they reach the surface of your conscious mind. Concentration on your business leads to this kind of result. New ideas, new and better ways of doing things, new relationships, and more money. But you'll never get there if you don't get started and focus on your goals of building your new home video studio business and making money. Well, here's that word again, focus. It's really the key to success in home video studio. And here's why. HVS and most other successful companies focus on one or a few key areas in which they can be the best they can be. Think about McDonald's, for example, hamburgers, french fries, Federal Express, fast overnight delivery, Domino's, hot pizza to your door quick, and home video studio, quick video post-production and production services. Now, other companies try to be all things to all people and usually end up putting out garbage. These misguided owners eventually fail. I was failing, too. You know, many people see our ads and come to the conclusion that Home Video Studio is just something I made up or started selling just to make money. In fact, they'll call and ask. They'll say things like, are you guys just doing this to make money? And I'll tell them, well, it does make money, but we're doing this because it's what we love to do. The truth is, it was part discovery, part invention, and part innovation. In a very short period, from June 14th to August 1st of 1991, my life changed dramatically because of my change of direction, what I refer to as my personal call to action. Remember me talking about a call to action earlier? That voice inside you that keeps telling you and reminding you of a needed quest or change? Shortly after my June 14th decision to focus on making money with a video business, I was at a garage sale and bought Earl Nightingale's Lead the Field tapes. Earl Nightingale was the Anthony Robbins of the 1970s, and his tape showed me how to turn video into gold, literally. I remember listening that summer of 1991, hearing him say things like, sell them in bunches, and I kept thinking over and over, what can I sell? What can I sell? I really didn't know what I could sell. I kept asking myself over and over, I'm not a retail business. I don't have anything to sell. What can I sell to virtually anybody and everybody? Once again, the magic C, concentration, helped me find the answers. It took a little time, but I found out what I could sell in bunches. It was video services and products to average consumers and commercial businesses. In late July of 1991, just one month after hearing my classmate's suggestion and making my focus statement, I attended a business show. I dropped my business card into several fishbowls that exhibitors were using to build mailing lists. Several days later, in fact, it was actually my birthday, August 1st, my 34th birthday, I got a call from a local direct marketing company. I apparently had won free advertising in a citywide direct mail booklet. Although I was very skeptical at first, I soon learned that it was indeed true. Finally, a break had come my way. God had opened another window. Joe, my marketing class instructor, had offered to consult with anyone from the class without charge. I took him up on this offer, and he gave me some of the best advice that I've ever had. He told me to change the name of my company. Joe explained that having my name in the name of the company would be very powerful and profitable. He said that people would like the fact that our company was local and that they could speak to the owner of the company. I thought this was a little simple and corny, but corny ideas are sometimes the best. 
I was teachable, so I followed his advice immediately. We had been called Corporate Video. I changed the name to Hanley Video Duplication and then later on to Hanley Video Services. It worked like a charm. What about you? Will you use your name in the name of your company? Oh, and remember that advertising I won? Even though I was a little skeptical, those three weeks prior to the advertising hitting took longer than anything I've ever waited for, even Christmas when I was nine. The day the ad came out, my phone started ringing off the hook. One day alone, I got 49 calls. After that, during a normal day, we'd get between 20 and 30 good qualified business calls. It was like winning the lottery. Instantly, I was back in business, a profitable business.